Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. It was a really sweet spot. I mean, it's not the most glamorous place we've ever been to, but I thought this little trail of rocks leading on to uh, a mysterious bush, as well as this cool jagged spiky mountain over here, uh, was uh, cool enough to merit a uh, location for uh, the day's daily challenge. And uh, now I guess it's up to me to guess where in the world I think we are. It's like a knife laying on the ground. No, I don't think it is. Um, well, you know what? I think we're in America. You know, we're not always uh, in America. Most of the time, I don't actually guess uh, that we're in the U.S., but I think in this case, we actually are. And where in America could we be? Well, for whatever reason, I feel like we're in California, but... Uh, Maybe I'm gonna guess like somewhere like uh, like over here, like uh, somewhere in between, yeah, somewhere like near Lake Havasu City. That sounds pretty good to me, like uh, right around there. Let's make the guess and find out where we are. Not too bad, not too bad. We weren't in California, we were actually in Nevada, north of Las Vegas. Uh, we were over here, is there a name for this place? Um, yeah, uh, Cathedral Gorge State Park. Oh! Well, the Cathedral Gorge sounds like it's pretty sweet, so uh, thankfully I actually did pick a pretty interesting spot. Cathedral Gorge State Park. Hmm. Maybe I'll go there one day. All right, here we are in today's Daily Challenge location. An interesting area for sure. I mean, not only do we have uh, this cool little island over here, and I don't know if we're by the sea or something, but maybe I like to imagine that the, that the tide rises over this area and at some point uh, we're underwater, although by the look of it, it's really dry, so unless it's like super, super hot, uh, that might not be uh, true. Maybe the water doesn't rise here. Maybe, hell, maybe this could be a giant lake and the water level could be low, or hell, maybe the oceans are actually lowering. Take that, global warming. Uh, of course, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, we've got a pretty cool spot over here. I mean, we've got uh, a nice view of uh, lots of houses and stuff like that. Uh, people living on the coast. Man, it'd be pretty fun to live uh, by the ocean. I, of course, do not live anywhere near the ocean, to be honest. It's, it's a really long drive away. Uh, to get to the ocean. I mean, I do live by a lot of water. Um, there's uh, no shortages of lakes, but ocean? to like a 12, 14 hour drive from here. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, that's that's not that's not necessarily great. Look at that. You even got tires here because these people, I guess they didn't want trees or bushes in their way. So they took them all off and then they don't want their house to sink into the ocean. Put up these tires here. Maybe that helps for e erosion or maybe um, these are for planting uh, bushes on slopes. I have no idea. I'm just uh, spitballing here. Anyways, this is the daily challenge, which means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. Put that down in the comment section below. Put, well, by that, I mean your guesses uh, down in the comment section below. And tell me where in the world you think this is. In tomorrow's video's comment section, I'm going to announce the winner, whoever guesses closest. There's no prize to win, but uh, glory there is. So if you're interested in that, make sure you tell me where in the world you think we are right now. Well, okie dokie, welcome back, and now on to the main section of today's video, which is a viewer challenge. A viewer challenge today by none other than our good friend Aranciata F. So thank you so much for this challenge. This is a cool challenge. Uh, it's uh, places that uh, this person has uh, lived um, or been to, so it's lived or been to, uh, and one of the places is, uh, may not fit the theme, but is also, uh, where the, uh, second season of The Walking Dead was filmed, which is no clue to me, because I've never seen The Walking Dead, mostly because I think I've heard that season two in particular isn't good, so there you go, but apparently the latest season actually uh, picked it up back, uh, picked it back up again, so maybe, but uh, we'll see if my tiredness for zombies uh, is going to prevail, um, which it probably will, or if I can actually let that go, and finally be interested in something that's probably pretty cool. But anyways, thank you so much, Arenciata F, for this challenge, and if you're interested in creating a challenge of your own, you can go to geosetter.com, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com, create your own custom challenge. You can find the link to that website, the second link down in the description below. First link being actually the link to this challenge, so you can uh, play along uh, yourself. 
You can go to GeoSetter and create your own custom challenge, five locations throughout the world. You can send that to me using the YouTube inbox system. You can even add a theme or special rules or whatever you'd like. So thank you so much, RN Siata F, for this challenge. Let's do it. Almost forgot what button was uh, full screen there. Wow, you've lived here or been here. I'm jealous. I keep saying lived, although you specifically said or been to. I doubt you lived here. And if you have, I'm super jealous. Uh, this is really cool. I don't really know what it is. For, I see this and I immediately think beer is made here. But that's probably not true. Um, but it's like a big light up neon sign. It's really cool. Let's take a look more at, uh, at, at what we've got over here. Uh, this highway over here, it's not as wide, but it's got that whole Beverly Hills, uh, near LA highway thing. You know, that, uh, that really famous shot you see all the time. Uh, but I don't, that's not where we are at all. I, I don't know where, uh, where we could be. Immediately looking at it, I think we are in... I mean, actually looking at it, I guess, like, look at this castle type thing. I'm guessing probably Europe is maybe a safe bet to say. I kind of forgot about this, the, the existence of this thing. Wow, this picture is all uh, lit up. It's very, very nice. And look at, oh, wow, what a beautiful spot. We got two people over here just sitting down, or maybe three. There might be a secret third person there as well. Wow, it is seriously a really nice spot. And, oh, man, these frosted trees are... Very weird looking, but that's just a product of the uh, sort of maybe really terrible high dynamic range photography this person's chosen. Or, uh, you know, long exposure, who knows, there's something going on because you can see, you know, the blurriness of uh, uh, of the of the drives. So one of the things that uh, our friend Arain Siata said um, in this challenge was uh, that uh, these are mostly places that you can't move around too much in. So uh, there is that. You can't move around uh, too much. Now, do I think we're in Europe or do I think we're in America? Those are really the two places I'm thinking. And, like, although this kind of looks like America, I'm going to say it's not. Although I, I do think it is. It kind of looks like it very well could be America. It's hard to tell. Well, we've got, we've got red, white, and blue stickers on here. Am I going to go with America? I kind of feel like it. I kind of feel like going and uh, just saying that this is America. Does that seem crazy to you? It doesn't seem too wild to me to, to make that kind of a guess. If it is, I'm going to say it's on the, the East Coast. And if I'm going to say it's on the East Coast of America, I, I, honestly, the guess would either be uh, the East Coast of America somewhere or somewhere in Europe. I just don't know where in Europe. Maybe a, uh, like a, like a northerny type place. Somewhere a bit north, maybe something like a Scandinavia, maybe something like a Germany. That's about it. But honestly, I'm going to guess we're in North America here on this one. And I'm going to be guessing that we are in maybe a, something a mountainy, like a New Hampshire. Sounds right to me. Uh, sure, something like, uh, sure, Laconia sounds, sounds nice. Let's make the guess. And the answer was Germany. Um... I have no, well, there you go. Nothing nothing more to say about that, you know. I made my guess. I mentioned Germany at least. Uh, you know, I, I didn't, I probably wouldn't even have guessed Germany. I probably would have guessed maybe somewhere a little bit more up north, maybe a Sweden or something around this area. Uh, but Germany seems to make a lot of sense as well. Marburg is the place we were near. Wow, that was really, really beautiful. Um, and uh, the place we were at specifically is called Spiegelust. Derm. Mm, very nice. That was a really, really cool spot. Okay, next location. <laughs> what the fuck are the odds of this happening, eh? Well, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, you know, as I'm saying this, uh, I remember exactly where this is now. It took me a few seconds. But what, what, what can we do about this? These challenges were both sent so long ago that, uh, that like, oh, they, there's no way. Both, well, hey, you know what? You've got a cool story because you've actually been here. Um, this is in Vienna, if you remember properly. We were here yes yesterday. Although, you know what? It's always, is, I mean, it's a cool museum, and there's a lot of things we didn't get to see, like these um, very, very cool 
these very very cool things right over here like gilded in gold it's really really nice you know i guess when i said if i went to vienna i said i don't know if i would come here if uh if and when i go uh, to vienna i said i don't know if i would actually come here but now we've gotten the recommendation twice two people have been here so really uh well not two people have been here but someone has placed us here and someone has actually been here and that is a little bit more encouraging so the fact that now actually someone has has been here in real life kind of makes me i think this is the room we ended in isn't it or maybe not maybe this is the room we ended in i, I have no idea all right well i can go this way can i go can i go this way okay we've ended we were we're somewhere new okay no we're not somewhere too new I want to find somewhere like that we totally haven't been in this museum, but it doesn't look like that's something we're gonna find. I can go over here and oh my god, look at this! There's a, there's a beautiful painting over here. Let's go check this thing out. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Let's go. Let's go move and go take get, get a give it a good look. Wow, that's grand. I mean, you think about it like. The painting could be cut off like right here and you wouldn't be missing out too much other than the the grandiose setting that they're in but like look at this there's so many so many people something is being someone is being crowned or something um then there's a bunch of people with identical looking hair that are walking around and, and enjoying the sights this is really really neat all right well here we go what have we got here i, I honestly I, I don't really know I don't really know what we're seeing right here. We're seeing a map of somewhere. Although, if I remember correctly, this is in Vienna. And uh, Vienna doesn't quite look like this. Uh, it was it was right over here. It was this museum right here, wasn't it? Or was it this one? I'm not entirely sure it was that museum. I think it was I think it was this one. Sure. We're gonna call it we're sure we're gonna call it this museum right here. Um, I really want to find just a new place or, or, or somewhere completely new. Maybe uh, an exhibit that, wow, this is really cool. Look at these things. Wow, that's wild. Is this like a tapestry of some sort? So beautifully made. That's so elaborate. Think about it. Like the, it, This is like a room of priceless treasures everywhere around here. Everywhere that there is here, this is like stuff that like isn't made. You don't see stuff like this being made very often these days hell maybe it is but i mean you even got awesome swords wow look at i want to get a little bit of closer look at these swords that's really cool you know what maybe you've changed my mind on this one maybe i am gonna go here but yeah it was there not exactly there i got that one wrong it was actually uh this one area over this area over here wow a lot of museums around here maybe i would go to this one 64 36 okay well we're seeing, uh, we're seeing everything, uh, okay, I was gonna, now I know exactly where this is, but I was gonna feel smart before I actually saw the logo, right over here, we're in Pittsburgh, aren't we, um, you know, uh, this is, uh, this is, this, is it, yeah, this is the stadium where, uh, they did, uh, the Dark Knight Rises, the, the stadium collapsing, uh, scene, obviously that wasn't, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, but it was in this stadium, wasn't it? Or yeah, and then they 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 filmed it and then they edited it and made it bigger and, and different and stuff like that. But it, but it was here, so we got all, a bunch of Heinz advertisements, stuff like that. You know, I was gonna I was gonna feel smart for at least knowing the colors of a football team. I don't watch football at all, but then you can see their logo right down there. But uh, you know, I think that's at least not that bad, right? You know, it's it's pretty good for my knowledge. I don't really know too many. Um, too many other teams. So, you know, we go to Pittsburgh right over here. And where, where would the Steelers play? Um, they would play they would play in Pittsburgh, which I think is probably this tip. And they would maybe play, like, uh, around here in Bloomfield. No, they wouldn't play there. Maybe, uh, you know, I'm probably not going to spend some time trying to make that guess. But I'll just go, like, right around here. This is a really, really cool... Really, really cool uh, arena that we've got here. It looks, it looks really awesome, and it's really, really damn big. That's awesome. Let's make the guess, and the answer was yeah, kind of, but the answer was actually over here. Wow, it's real close to this really downtowny tip, Heinz Field. Oh, I, I was gonna say, is this place called Heinz Field? But I didn't, uh, didn't think it would be. It is. It's called Heinz Field. Well, there you go. 
Uh, you can go to Chicken Fry Company. That sounds good. I'd have um, Quaker Steak and Lube. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's no better place, right? 5773. Where are we now? Okay, Old Main. I thought it said Old Man for a second. I don't believe any of the locations we've seen are the locations uh, that uh, The Walking Dead Season 2 has been filmed, because I believe that's a prison, if I'm not mistaking. Um, hopefully, if it is a prison, uh, you haven't lived there, uh, because that would be... I mean, that would suck, right? That, that wouldn't be a good thing. You, ain't nobody want that. But uh, there you go. Where is this place specifically? Did it take place in a prison or did it take place in like a school? Or I don't know. It, uh, Walking Dead Season 2. It, it, I, don't, I haven't seen it, so I, and I'm really bad at this. Uh, but hey, we at least got a, a good look at, at this place, kind of, and now we actually get to see a little bit more. So, College State College, or Hotel State College. Wow, that doesn't say college. Uh, I don't know how to read. That's fine. I don't need to know how to read. Information. Information about where. Can I get some information about where we are? To be honest, I don't know. This feels like, uh, I mean, the fact that we just saw college. Nittany Mall. We're in America. We know that. Catabus. Okay. Powered by 100% catabus.com. Clean natural gas. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily the truth. Well, at least if that's necessarily, uh, that might be a bit mis misleading uh, a thing to say, clean natural gas. I always love it when you see uh, commercials for the coal industry or the oil industry or the natural gas industry. And my God, do you ever see those commercials? And it's it's really such bullshit. It's incredible. They really try and sell you on uh, on, on these on, on these things as being like so nice and clean and good for the community and environment and literally everything else. And it's Pretty crazy when you think about it that it's like the coal industry and natural gas and oil. You don't see too many of those commercials, at least for coal and natural gas in Canada. Mostly you see oil company commercials if you do see if you do see them. Uh, but you do see a lot of like uh, coal commercials in uh, American television, or at least you did. I don't watch too much television these days, so I don't know if you still see them. But my God, did you ever, especially in... Um, Especially because, you know, we have, we have like, uh, if you, you watch like uh, American News or anything like that, you get like, we get stations from around uh, this area over here. And I believe there's quite a bit of coal in this area right over here. So, you know, kind of makes sense that you would see that you would see that, which is uh, which is pretty nuts. Over here, you most often see commercials for oil company. Uh, Synovus is a is a big one that loves to do commercials. And they are funny. Where in the world are we? I still haven't really figured it out. Um, McAllister downtown. You, you know, I'm I'm gonna guess that we're kind of near the same area. That um, the same area that because we're in America. I'm gonna guess we're near uh, the first place, which was in Pittsburgh. Because if you've been to a Steelers game then maybe you live near Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh area. So we could be somewhere like, this is pretty big, and I feel like I feel like we've got some universities and colleges. So maybe we're in Philadelphia, maybe we're somewhere else, probably one of these bigger places, like an Allentown or a Harrisburg. This place sounds like it's called Harrisburg. So just not knowing anything about Pennsylvania, I'm going to say that's where we are. And we're actually in a place literally called State College. I think we've been to State College before, actually. And I think about it, I swear we've been to a place that had a name kind of like it. And we saw like a big sports stadium. We never went to the downtown area, which is actually quite nice. Um, but yeah, there. Yeah, we've totally been here before uh, to this place. We saw like uh, this Beaver Stadium or Bryce Jordan Center or something along those lines. We saw something like that, except it didn't look quite like that. 3192. All right. Well, this looks like where The Walking Dead would be filmed. Yeah. Season 2? Isn't that in a prison? Or is that season 3 or 1? Are we near a prison? We might be near a prison. Um. This doesn't look like particularly a prison, but it might be. Office, warehouse, space. 
Maybe. It feels like a prison to you. It, it doesn't to me. But it does look like where zombies live. So I will say that. It definitely looks like uh, like we could run into some zombies around here. So um, I'm going. I'm gonna say that uh, that's that's definitely a possibility. I'm just uh, getting ready to see it. Where is this? This looks like. Hmm. Do I want to go down that route? I think I will go down that route. One place that I know that gives a lot of tax exemptions to. Okay, we're in one of the two states. We're in Georgia or New Orleans. Those are the two states we're in. Those are the two states that come up most often and states that give big tax exemptions to uh, to um, like things that film. And I kind of feel like this is probably... I was originally going to um, Louisiana. Fuck, New Orleans? What an idiot. Um, I am. Yeah, Louisiana. I kind of always forget the, the state name. It's silly. I shouldn't. But Georgia... I kind of feel, I was going to say, I originally feel like we're in Louisiana, but now I think we're in uh, Georgia, actually. Because Georgia, you know, the whole Georgia logo that you see on television shows and stuff like that, it comes up way more often uh, than, than the Louisiana one. Although I know Louisiana does the same kind of thing. Um, what can we see? Well, we can see the, the reference name. That doesn't help us too much. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go just because of the fact that it, that being filmed in Georgia kind of makes sense uh, from a filming a TV show and getting tax breaks uh, standpoint comes from. Just like uh, just like Connecticut is another one of those states, I believe. At least everything that used to be in like New York moved to Connecticut. Um, like radio and television and things like that, they all moved there. Jerry Springer is one of the things. I think they moved out to Connecticut. I'm not even sure. Um, but uh, there you go. Ann Street, sure, there you go. Partners in Education. Well, this looks like a nice area now. Doesn't quite look like uh, that one place. Look at this. Got nice little homes and flowers and stuff like that. It's very beautiful. And a fence to keep the zombies out. What does this say? Heritage Apartments. Well, there you go. And uh, you got concrete and cement and stuff like that. Can we get some uh, license plates so we can see... Uh, so we can see that, um, actually, I don't know if, if Georgia actually has anything on its license plates. Can we see anything on this one? No, we can't. I think Georgia does, but I don't really remember. So where in Georgia are we? Well, let's make the guess. Um, if I remember correctly, this area is like real swampy down here. So I'm going to say we're like, it's called, it's Mason, right? Or Macon? I think it's Mason. We're going to say we're kind of like near it, maybe to something along the lines of a Cochrane. Sure. Let's make the guess, and the answer was okay. Right idea. Georgia was the right state. Figured that one out just based on the fact that Georgia is like on everything is filmed in Georgia these days. So south of Atlanta, in a place called Griffin. Maybe you've been there. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you just chose that one because of The Walking Dead season two. Maybe uh, you actually also been there, which is pretty sweet. So thirty twenty two. That's pretty good. Let's, oh, the end. Wow, there you go. 19728. It's too bad that I screwed that first guess over uh, by not guessing Germany. Although, honestly, I probably would have guessed something like a Sweden. Because uh, it felt it felt northerny, and I don't know. Maybe Germany would have made sense, but, uh, you know, yeah, Germany makes sense. I even mentioned it, but uh, I didn't guess it. And I don't think I even would have guessed it, even if I would have decided to go with Europe as opposed to North America. Uh, we were in Germany in a place called Marburg. Then we went over to that awesome museum in Vienna. Uh, now I'm convinced that I want to go there uh, if I ever do go to Vienna. We were at uh, the uh, Heinz Field. Heinz Field, yeah, that's right. Where the Pittsburgh Steelers play. Then we were in college, so State College, uh, Pennsylvania, which is, well, I guess where colleges are uh, in Pennsylvania. And finally, we were just south of Atlanta, Georgia, where Walking Dead Season 2 was filmed. And I'm very sorry if to, I'm very sorry to uh, this place, uh, south of Atlanta, if that indeed is like the place that you live or have lived and actually, uh, The Walking Dead Season 2 was filmed over here in State College, or hell, maybe in Germany, although I re really doubt that. In fact, yeah, I really doubt it was filmed in Vienna as well, or even uh, the Pittsburgh, yeah, maybe Pittsburgh for like a certain scene, but that seems like pretty elaborate and pretty costly, to be honest. So I'm very sorry if I've gotten these two locations messed up.
mixed up. But seriously, you, you got to admit, this one looked a lot more like zombies might be around. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. 19728 It's not a bad score. It's not a great score. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up. Look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.